Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who Vig review. This time it's me, Wolfie, reviewing the Doctor's, um, the 11th Doctor's crash set. Um, we'll be doing this review in two parts. In the first view, review, um, which we'll be doing now, will be um, the 11th Doctor in crash clothing and the second part will be the 11th Doctor in toy jacket. So I'll start off with the crashed one. Well, here is the 11th Doctor in crash clothing. Um, as usual, I'll be doing the detail, then the articulation, and then I'll be giving more rating on this figure. So let's start off with the head. The head has a very good likeness to Matt Smith, just like all his other figures. Um, um, the hair is done very nicely with the comb over part and the hair at the back. It's a lot lighter than the end of time figure, but um, his hair was lighter in the 11th hour. Um, I'll just do a comparison now. And here is the um, 11th Doctor from the episode End of Time. Um, as you can see, um, still basically the same, but this hair is darker on this figure. Um, so, yeah. Um, now I'll be doing the torso. Um, the shirt is done very nicely. It looks just like the Raggedy Doctor from the episode. And it's got some nice little cuts in the front and the back. The cuffs are rolled up. Uh, this little part here, that looks very good because it's been untucked. And the tie is done very nicely as well. Like it's been slung out to the side. Um and the patterns on it are done very nicely as well um and it's a very nice torso for this doctor it is it's very nice we've never really seen the undershirt this this shirt underneath the blazer on the 10th doctor but now we get to see it on the 11th doctor but all battered um now we'll move on to the legs the legs are basically exactly the same as this figure um the legs are the same um and it's also the same as this figure as the 10th Doctor figure from the Stolen Earth set. The legs are all the same. It's just the same sculpt over and over again, and so are the shoes, I mean the trainers. They've got the same detail, and it's just the same sculpt, same bottom sculpt, which is a bit lazy, but... Um... It's alright, because the sculpt would... the Well, the trousers would be the same, because... He was obviously wearing them trousers in that episode, and then because he was wearing them in that episode, he would have been wearing them in the 11th hour. But still, you can see um, this little part here, because it's normally covered by the jacket, but... Yeah, it's very good. Now, I'll move on to the articulation on this figure. The head can do um, a 360 degree turn, as I'll show you now. Um, can go 300, hang on, and 60 degrees. Okay, sorry, I just went to get my stand because I forgot it. Um, yeah, so the head could do a 360 degree turn. The arms could do 360 from the shoulders. They could do 360 at the bicep. And they can move up and down at the shot. Um, no, the elbows. And the hands can do a 360 degree swivel from the, not the wrist, just above the wrist. Uh, the waist can do a 360 degree turn. Um, the legs can move forwards and backwards. They can move out, so you can have the limp doctor doing the splits. And they can move at the knees. Um, so overall, this figure is very, very good. It did come with a sonic screwdriver, but um, we was doing our latest figure adventures, and my brother um, lost it. Well, he put it back in the box, and now we cannot find where it's gone. We sometimes keep our most of our stuff under here. We've got a hammer and Sontar and stick. We keep the sonic screwdrivers under there and it or in um a little box behind me over here. Um but it's not in there. Um so wherever it's gone, it'll probably turn up, but if it doesn't oh well. Um so yeah. This figure is a very good figure. And in the next part, I'll be reviewing the 11th Doctor, oh god, I'll be reviewing the 11th Doctor in tweed jacket, which is very, very nice, and this is a review that you definitely do not want to miss. Okay, see you in that review.